Hello guys, in this video I want to show you guys a very cool um, tip with the Galaxy S3. I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Galaxy S3 to your PlayStation 3 or any other device that has DLNA feature in, in it. Um, I'm going to use the PlayStation 3 for, for example this time, but this can work on a, on a normal TV with the same features on a PlayStation on a 360, I, b I believe it has DLNA too. So let's go ahead here first on the Galaxy S3, let's go ahead and go to settings. Um, here you go to system settings, here you would go to more settings, and all the way here in the bottom it says nearby devices share your media files via DLNA um, last year the Galaxy S2 had an app it didn't have this feature embedded in the settings it had an app called all share that would enable that feature for you but this time around it is embedded in the settings so right here you click on that and you have the option to turn it on the file sharing here in the bottom you could choose what folders you want to you want to um, uh, share from your device. I got chosen videos, photos, and music. That's good. Um, here you put your 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 name for your device. I put Galaxy S3. You could put any name you want. You could put my phone or my Galaxy, whatever. Um, access control devices. I got allow all devices. Uh, allowed list these are the list of the devices there that has been recognized by the Galaxy S3 so far I got the DirecTV box recognized um, here's a list of uh, devices I don't want to allow um, here I could choose a folder where to download like for example if I want to transfer something from the from the PlayStation 3 to the SD card I could do it through here and I could choose where to download it to a USB storage or SD card right now I'm choosing the USB storage and here you can choose upload from other devices always accept I got it right there so let's go to the PlayStation 3 so you guys can see that right now the Galaxy S3 you don't see it see you don't see it available but let's go here let's go here and turn this on when you turn this on it will automatically let you know let's look at here let me clear that look at here it will automatically let you know that content share enabled uh, here it will let you know that I'll allow it will ask you if you want to allow the DirecTV box to be accessed from your device just say yes it will also ask you for another device so since the PlayStation 3 is a uh, it, it has the DLNA in it it will also ask you for that too. allow UPN it, it doesn't really say PlayStation 3 but you go ahead and accept it as well so now let's go to the PlayStation 3 right here you still don't see nothing see if you check you still don't see nothing there you still don't see nothing there but you would have to go here search you have to choose search media servers go ahead and choose media servers the PlayStation 3 is gonna start scanning for media server And the PlayStation 3 is going to be scanning any media server, so this, your phone, your Galaxy S3, would be working as a media server. Let's, it might take a while, but once it recognizes, like right now it says two media servers were found. So let's go ahead and go back. And right now, you don't have to touch your phone no more, so you could just put it down. And let's go to the PlayStation 3, and here, look at this. Now you got Galaxy S3. You even have a little phone and in it and everything. Let me show you guys. Let me try to, let me try to focus in. Look at that. Galaxy S3. 
very cool and here if we go to music you also have Galaxy S3 and if we go to photos you also have Galaxy S3 very cool so when you go to get so let's say you want to access your photos on your PlayStation 3 you click on that so you're like I am doing click on photos let's go back and now you can access all your photos that are available in your camera roll of your phone these all these photos are in my phone so let's say if I want to click on one of them there you go so I can see pictures of in my phone very cool and you could go on and keep on keep on going through all the phone all this all this is in my phone right now so I could go all the way down let's see it loads pretty fast look at that <laughs> and let's say let's say I want to save this photo to my PlayStation 3 I just choose I just choose a triangle and here I got the options to copy this photo if I choose copy it will automatically copy that to my PlayStation 3 boom very cool or if I want to copy multiple photos I just choose multiple and now I could go ahead and choose multiple photos I could go ahead and choose this photo let me choose this photo uh, let me choose this photo so you guys can see you could choose as much as you want or you could go over here in the side and choose select all clear all or ok so right here let's go ahead and choose another photo okay let me choose this photo and that's it so let's go ahead and choose OK and now it will copy all those photos to my PlayStation 3 boom copy complete now if we go here June 12th there it is look at the photos that I just copied very cool um, another thing here is uh, in the music area you can also access your music uh, right now I don't have music files but I do have um, like podcasts uh, like for example let's go ahead and hit the beyond podcast see pretty cool pretty nice let's go ahead go back again um, I got you know if you have if your phone is loaded with um, music you can go ahead and listen to all your library from your phone on your PlayStation 3 Look at that. pretty cool fantasy baseball podcast pretty cool okay let's go now to videos here in video you can also click that make sure you choose the video folder and it will actually play any videos taken with the camera or downloaded like from a podcast like I do I have a podcast um, app let me see okay let's make sure this is okay there's no problem here no, okay. there's no problem the phone stays the same boom 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 right there here is all the videos that are on my phone nice so I could go ahead go all the way down to the bottom let's see let's try to watch a video but right now let's say I played that video that I took this video this weekend look at that perfectly <laughs> that works perfectly uh, let's see that video. Very cool. 
and all these videos are in my podcast uh, are in my let me see this are in my phone let me see if I can play this no this corrupted video but it will actually play almost any video let's see control this is a podcast I think it's I deleted this podcast. That is. today's Texel daily is brought very cool let's see See, this is very cool because right now yeah, I could, let's go back. It's cool because you, you could, um, if you want to watch something from your phone on the PlayStation 3 or on the TV or 360, I believe it works also. This is a very cool trick to learn, you know, very nice. Let me see, I think I deleted this video. No, it's still there on my phone. And same here, you could go ahead and copy this to your to my PlayStation. So yeah, you could go ahead and copy videos. Let me see if I could copy uh copy this to da 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 da. Let me see if I could uh, nope. No. And that's all you gotta do is just make sure when you turn your your Galaxy S3, make sure you turn the file sharing on. And when you choose the file sharing on, make sure you have the PlayStation 3 on, and let it let the phone scan. You know it will scan the it will scan for devices, and once you once it recognizes devices, just go ahead and and, and give it an OK to every device that that it finds. And on the PlayStation 3, just remember to go ahead when it's the first time you're gonna scan. When it's the first time you're going to connect your, your Galaxy S3 to the PlayStation 3, make sure you choose Search Media Servers. Because if you don't choose that, it will not never recognize, it will never see your phone. And that's it, guys. It's very easy. Like you, see, like you saw right there, it's very easy. You can copy music, photos, and videos from your Galaxy S3 to your PlayStation 3 hard drive. So guys, I hope you guys like the tip. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask, and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Till next time.